So, buenas and half a day. Uh, we are here uh, this afternoon for a, a special occasion, and it's for a resolution presentation. And it's resolution number 360-33 COR, and it was introduced by Tina Rose Munir Barnes and all of the members of the uh, 33rd Guam Legislature. And it is relative to recognizing, memorializing, and distinguishing the life and work of the late Honorable Benjamin Tysican Manglonia and commending him for his stellar service and notable contributions to the people of Rhoda and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and to further extending sincere and humble condolences to his family on his passing on behalf of E. Lehesletran Guahan and the people of Guam. And what the resolution uh, contains, of course, basically, is describing his life from the day of his birth uh, to his passing and all of the things that he has contributed uh, you know, to his people. And so Senator Munya Barnes then would uh, briefly, I guess, discuss some of those. Uh, Sisu Osmasi, uh, Madam Speaker, and thank you for l reading the the introduction of the resolution as introduced and voted by all of our members in the 33rd Guam Legislature. I want to thank the family for being here. Um, I want to share with you that in the early uh, 2000s, when I was, uh, when the um, Little League Babe Ruth was being um, organized in Rhoda for the Regional Pacific Tournament, I had the opportunity to work closely with, at that time, um, the Honorable uh, Benjamin Minglonian, and if there was anything that I could take away from that, was his love for sports and his people, his love of sharing his hospitality and making sure that we ate every single day, but making sure that his island stayed as beautiful as he saw it. Um, I had the time to uh, visit the uh, big uh, ingrained laddie stones where he showed me and then he made it a point to make sure that I didn't come home empty-handed, uh, that, that uh, he, he, oh my God, he presented us with kamuti, with radish, with just everything that Rhoda had grown. And he was saying, Senator, uh, this is from the people with much love. And this is who we are, is that we continue to, to share in what we have and the fruits of our labor and our people. This is what we want to share with you and take back. You know, he had over 40 years of public service. And I, I know at one time uh, he was a four-term senator, right, Speaker? He was, he was a mayor, senator. He was at Continental Micronesia, which was the best uh, airline that Micronesia could have. And everybody knew Continental Micronesia for for its hospitality also. And that's where he gave a lot of his heart. Was His heart was to his people, but he always, always, always gave back. And that's what I remember about this gentleman, uh, at least for me personally, was making sure that that um, what he had, what what he learned, and, and who uh, his family was. I know he had 12 children, and many, many more family members that when we were there, he made it a point for me to take me all around and saying, this is familiar and so-and-so, this is your relative, even if you're from Grom, this is, and, and he seemed to know all that, and, and it was like, you know, you don't have to tell me who you are, Agal, because I already know you're Bill Munoz, and I'm like, my father, you know, had passed, and he said, I remember your father before he, uh, he passed on, and I went, wow, you know, and that's what, I, that's what I wanted to share. And when we heard of the passing, I asked Speaker if, if we could uh, do something special on behalf of the people of Guam and the 33rd Guam Legislature was to recognize all his hard work and that his family could continue to cherish the memory and be able to share it with future generations to come and know that, that here uh, in Guam the people um, pay tribute and extend their, their sincere and humble condolences uh, to you as his family. And, and on behalf of the people of Guam, we extend an undunkel for all the work that he did 
for our Chamorro people. And with that being said, uh, Madam, I will ask the speaker to do the official uh, presentation to the family. And all of you guys here are part of his family. And I ask all of you, please come up so we can have a photo. Um, I will tell you that the listening audience from our island and our community is listening. And they're all here to, I mean, to see this presentation. So I'd be remiss if I didn't call you all up here so that the speaker can give the official documentation and resolution to you. Please, my love. Yeah. My love. Well, while you're working your way up, you know, uh, there's really so much that he's done in the 40 years that it actually uh, takes two sheets uh, to, to describe everything that is done. So one of the families up here. Can we also call Peter Hawkins, Chief of Staff, and Lieutenant Governor of Saipan? Yes, please. Come on Mr. up. My love. And Lieutenant Governor's yes. Chief of Staff. My love. Yes, come. please come. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to be, well. Please. Okay, but. Come on. Come, yeah, come close. Please. Yeah. My so, love, my love. On behalf That's of all. the uh, 33rd uh, Guam Legislature and the people of Guam, we would like to send, of course, our you know condolences, but more importantly is to be able to memorialize uh, his life uh, and his work you know, to his people. And this, in, and of course, I know we're further up uh, south, but you know we, we know him and we honor him and we respect him as well. So this, uh, accept this on behalf of uh, the people of Guam. Thank okay. you. <clears throat> On behalf of my uncle, my little uncle Ming's family, we want, to, we want to thank the people of Guam and the 33rd Guam Legislature for recognizing his efforts and his public service to the community. Thank you. <laughs> 